get armoured crew pay. Giving us the same money as the tankies for doing the same job. Because they do a single job, i.e. they crew a vehicle, and we're expected to do crew a vehicle and be infantiers. So I think we should get the same money as them. It's a problem we've been aware of for some time. And uh, what we're looking at is developing a system where if he also attains a skill, warrior, gunnery instructor, uh, section commander, or whatever it happens to be, then he'll get additional pay. Mm. And it's this multi-skilled aspect of infantry work that we, d we haven't got across well in the past, yes. and it hasn't been reflected in the pay. Yes, no. encouraging. The other interesting area which came up was the Soldier 95 clothing. The trousers rip very easily. And there was a general feeling that the clothing package, if you like, was excellent for barracks, but not at all so good in the field. At least I certainly hope that Soldier 95 was designed specifically for soldiers to fight in and not to march around the barracks wearing. To be, to be honest, it's, it's the first time that I've heard that the, the trousers don't appear to be matching up um, to those rigors. Uh, and I think the message really has got to be, um, if we're not hearing it, then the soldier must be given um, some, a line of communication through which he can air, air his concerns. Because he really seemed interested and he really, as though he was bothered about what we thought. And I think hopefully it will make a difference. I was struck by the fact that in an excellent battalion there was a feeling that they were not valued um, as they, I think, should reasonably expect to be valued these days. We've always thought we were rather good. I think, at looking after people. We've always prided ourselves on you know, leadership being the thing that we do well. I mean, it's um, something we, we thought we were good at, but we're, we're being shown to be um, at fault in some areas. And um, I think it's time now we put all this right. Mm -hmm. Time will tell. So come back in another 30 years, we'll be able to tell you whether or not he actually did what he promised, or what he said he'd have a look at. 30 years on, we'll see you again. 30 years, hey, the army moves very slowly.